Okay, finished playing with the SX Mini for a bit on the Limo 2. Let's have a look at uh, the uh, Rogue. Beautiful, very, it's an authentic and it's been modified at the bottom. This one has been done by Catfish Atty Mods on an authentic. Hang on, I ripped my finger off. Let me use my special tool that John made for me. Um, comments on this? Really easy to build. Absolutely, probably the easiest um, dripper to build on that I've ever played with. Uh, one issue is that I had to find a new screwdriver because uh, these Phillips screws are really big compared to everything else that I've ever used before. But I have a few screwdrivers, so it wasn't an issue. Um, I used 28 gauge Canthal, micro coils, uh, Joule. I built, came out at 0.7. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, it's got a very clever um, airflow system. You can see, I think this is almost unleakable because the airflow comes through the top. Just how that's going to work remains to be seen. But let's build one and have a vape on it. But quality wise, oh, and also you get a brass airflow and a copper airflow with the original. So let's put that back in the um, in its box. This one I have to send down to my vaping guru in Koringberg, Andre, because I bought two just in case and I knew he would want one. So, oops. So after this, I uh, will pack this up and send it down to the Western Cape. Uh, okay, I've now built the coil. I've wicked it and done all standard, pretty much standard. Um, uh, couple of issues I don't know if you can see that gap at the bottom yeah there there's a bit of a gap I'll try it on the new 510 up that'll probably fit but there's a there's a bit of an overlap here so already I'm taking pulls hang on let me just phone the doctor quickly oh yeah um, working on a atty with overhang so I need uh, some calm heads or something maybe a little bit stronger <laughs> but uh, it looks really good uh, it squonks fantastically uh, the guy's done a fantastic job um, let's give it a vape I'm using tropical ice because I figured that's what I vape 98% of the time. And I've, if I'm going to test something new, I'm going to have to use tropical ice. Um, I have to say, look, I'm not, a, I, I'm not a big fan of dual coils. I'm not a big fan of wide open air. Um, and I still, for me, nothing beats the cyclone with a single... A single coil. Yeah, at uh, 1 to 1.2 ohms. This is 0.7 joule and it vapes fantastically. I don't think this is better than the Derringer. This is better than the Cyclops. Um, this is by far, by far the nicest dual coil atty ever. Unbelievable, that's fantastic. I also finally got rid of my 
last nuppin, my nuppin version 2 last night, I just could not build for that thing. That build is just too confusing for me. And uh, Abdul will be a happy chappy. What's today? Friday. Oh, shame. He's only going to get it Monday. But uh, there we go. Try it once more. This, guys, chicken dinner. Really, really nice. The flavor is unbelievable. The squonking is great. The overhang is going to drive me out of my mind. So maybe, maybe what I'll do is maybe get John to build me a, a Rio without a lip. And then it'll fit. But um, I'm going to keep this one. This one I'm going to keep. But I'll send my spare the second one down to Andre. I'm sorry, um, this is turning in, into a bit of a ray fest, but it's unusual f to find something that's not a cyclone that excites me like this. And I, I don't know if it's the airflow or the fact that it just can't leak. I mean, I haven't even got an O-ring underneath here to block that gap. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually try it on the new... Hang on, this is the new one. So why doesn't it screw all the way down? Okay, not sure. We'll have to fiddle with that, but this gets a huge thumbs up from me. This is the Rogue Authentic. Um, you real notes are going to want this. There's no question, especially you jewel coilers. You are going to absolutely love this thing. So... Uh, been nice to be with you. Oh, it's so nice. To